This week on the House of Valentina, we've got some incredible finds that have just arrived from H&M. Everything from fashion to a few home pieces that I could not wait to style up. We've also got a few duds, unfortunately. We found some really cool, trendy pieces from Europe, and it looks like some will not work out, while others definitely will. We've also had a major wardrobe malfunction <laughs> with one of these pieces. But the best part is that we're gonna be giving you a full tour of the newly styled up coffee table and bookshelves, and at the very end, we're gonna be sharing with you one of the most decadent yet wonderful recipes that is going to make your mouth water and make you immediately wanna go make this, but you'll have to stay tuned to the end to see all of that. Well, hello, my sweet friends. I'm so excited that we are back at another week and man, have I got so much to share with you. We have had so many new in items this week and as you can tell, I've got the rack that I brought up. I've been pulling out items for spring because we have been booking trips for spring break and uh, Jack and I planned a little escape for our 25th anniversary. And uh, yeah, and we're talking about going to Greece. So <laughs> we have been so busy and my mind is 100% on the beach. <laughs> But it is snowing still in parts of America and I'm sure parts of where you guys live around the world. And uh, yeah, still wearing, uh, you know, a turtleneck <laughs> and a blazer at home. But yeah, so I've been transitioning things here and pulling some stuff up, like some great trench coats and different items. And it's just got me just so buzzed because I just love this time of year. And I wanted to share with you some of the new in items. Some will be keepers and some will be going back. Some of, I need your opinion on. I even got a present for Jack here. I've been wearing this turtleneck non-stop lately. I need to just buy an actual second one of these because I wear it so much. It's that like, skims kind of material and it's fitted and it's a bodysuit and it is so comfortable. I It's like wearing silk, it's incredible. Ooh, that's a sound of something good going on in the kitchen. <laughs> Hopefully Jack's making me one of those. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the Nespresso machine. That was the sound in the background. But uh, before he arrives with coffee and I give him his gift, uh, let me share a few of the things. Last week I promised you an H&M haul, but I do have a few H&M pieces that I am absolutely loving. So the first one is, I didn't even get a chance to take a picture of it yet. It's like these bodysuits that I'm wearing, only it's ribbed, absolutely stunning. And so yeah, it's beautiful, really cozy, and really, really chic and cool. Gonna look great with a pair of trousers like these when temps are a little bit warmer. Could look great for the beach, could go to the office. Like, I just live in pieces like this. And I didn't have one quite this style, so grab that at H&M. Also grabbed this sweatshirt, which is just to die for. The last time I checked, it was in stock. Uh, I will leave the link also for the one that I got. I got something, it's not exactly the same. I got this one off of Amazon and this one off of H&M. So I will link both of these up because they are so cute. Look at this. Is that not just, just oh, it's just too much. It's too much. So uh, I love to wear sweatshirts. Look at this one too. I love wearing sweatshirts. Like if we go for walks, especially in the evenings, we tend to do that. I love to throw a sweatshirt on. I wear them every morning when I'm working out. I love to just throw a sweatshirt on over my workout shorts. These are amazing also if you wanna be casual, uh, just running errands, or if you're gonna be on an airplane and you wanna do like that cool casual look. I also have these paired up with the faux leather shorts. I've got a couple pairs of these actually. Right now you can see I've been wearing them with the tights. I'll be doing all the Amazon items. I got a huge haul on Amazon. That will be on the Amazon Live this week and the following week. So those are every Saturday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will be sharing all the Amazon finds there because we'd be here for a while. <laughs> If I try to share all of this with you, it's just a little bit too much for one day. But I've got the little elasticated shorts. You can see I've got the Wolford tights. Oh my gosh, the best tights ever. And then the little elasticated shorts. I've got a pair from Mango. I've got a pair from, um, from 
Amazon. I did have mine shortened from Amazon. If you buy them there, they come kind of long, which is good if you are a tall girly. <gasps> I made Dude. you. Dude. Yeah. <gasps> Cafe Affogato. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does this, is that real whip or the? It's almond. It's almond? Yeah, it's the stuff you can have. Are you insane? Well, I know we've- Are you insane? How am I supposed to like hang out with my friends and not eat this? And we didn't have plain vanilla ice cream. Mm, so I did mm, mm, the Cherry Garcia almond version. So there's chunks of cherry and like dark chocolate Baby, that is delicious. Delicious. Because we were talking about, we just booked a little trip and or a big trip. Yeah. And <laughs> we're like planning summer. So I thought, well, celebrate with like a summer treat. I love this. <laughs> You guys just like hang out for a second. Let her enjoy. I'm telling you, it is just unbelievable. And he's got that whipped topping and chocolate syrup. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to share the <laughs> recipe with you at the end. There's no way we can show that to them I know. and not tell them how to make it. I know, definitely. Um, look, oh my gosh. You're, we're, oh. Oh my gosh. We did not plan this. Do you this. see? <laughs> we did not plan this. <laughs> Oh, we need to give you a lint roller before you go. But man, you look cute. You look so cute. Oh, and the new coach bag for oh, her look new at you. job and her internship. So here, let me grab you the, the lint roller before you go. All right. All right. Bye. Have a good have a good afternoon. We'll see you in a bit. Let me show them what else I got. Oh, I got the white shirt as well which was so pretty. Don't you oh, love yeah. this, the white shirt? I love this shirt. Yeah, I don't have one that's like, I don't know, there's just something about this one that's like really crisp and it's like the perfect length. It's kind of long and I don't know, the way that they, I actually went down a size in this. I wanted it extra small. It's pretty oversized, but that's what I was looking for. I wanted like one that I could put with a bathing suit. I could wear it with pants or shorts. So I've had fun already styling this one up. That was a definite keeper. It's a definite keeper. Yeah, the Love cotton this. on this is amazing. It's not your traditional type Oxford either, like the cut no. or the material. So yeah. it's it's meant to be more of yeah, like really a cool blouse. Like it. I, don't I know love what, it. What is it made with? Is it? Let's see, yeah, it's 100% cotton. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really soft. But it there's is. like a crispness to it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I know it's just Valentine's Day. And I actually ordered you something. <gasps> you got me shoes? I did actually. I didn't know you got me shoes. You just said you got me something. <gasps> I did. So. Oh, I love these. <gasps> I love these. So one of the things that is like the rage right now in Europe it are the Asics. And these are, they're called Ortholite. These are their, um, they're like a, they're part of the Tiger collection. Ooh. And. It's my nickname, by the way. <laughs> Where's the kitten? I don't remember which one. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond when he says these things. I'm like trying to think of a comeback and I'm like, I got Come on, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I usually call you princess, but you know, you could go with tiger. <laughs> you say princess, I hear tiger. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I love these. Aren't these so cool? For the first time in 50 something years, I'm on trend. Yes, well these are the range I know they are. in Europe right now. And I, I was, I, bit, I bought myself a couple pairs. <laughs> and they're really hard to find. So I'm gonna have to leave you guys links maybe to a couple places if you're interested uh, because they were almost impossible to find. So I saw the men's ones and I was like, Jack will love these. I will love these. These would look so cool even with what you have on today. I will be wearing these within minutes. Yeah, maybe you can try them on before we finish and then with that way we'll have a little cutaway. We'll show you guys yeah. how they look on. But let me show you the ones I got. Okay. Because unfortunately, so I bought myself two pairs thinking that one of them would work and I'd send the other one back. So yeah. one is in a seven and a half, the other one is in an eight. What do you I normally wear? wear a seven, so I, but sometimes in a sneaker I'll size up. Oh, like okay. a half size. So I was thinking, socks and stuff, right? yeah. And yeah. then your feet, if they're hot cause you're walking or whatever, they kind of expand. So I usually go up a half size. Okay. They're huge. Like I would need to probably order them in a six. So I'm going to try um. to reorder these because these are from a brand called Onitsuka. And it's so a Japanese cool. brand that was started after World War II and when they were trying to rejuvenate everything and start over and they wanted to create a brand that would bring hope to the nation. Oh. 
And so it's really cool. If you look back at the history, they've got all kinds of like really crazy designs and different things. Well, the shoe that is like the rage in Europe right now is the, is the Tiger. So it's, there's a, a brand collab between them and Asics. And this is what this one looks like. Look at this design. Is this not just absolutely gorgeous? I love that slim line. And then look at the yeah. back. I mean, <gasps> absolutely stunning. Stunning, and these are made with the so leather. Cool. So I got this colorway. I also bought this colorway. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, are these not so just cool. the best? So these actually came from Stadium Goods. Oh, I don't know what country they came from. I ordered them off of I think Farfetch. Stadium Goods is in Europe, and so maybe they came from. They could have maybe come from Denmark. Farfetch is really cool because. They source from, they source globally from all different boutiques. And so it's one of the best places to shop for stuff that's sold out everywhere. That's this cool. is not an ad. Like I literally shop on Farfetch all the time, especially for things that are sold out everywhere else. So I'm going to go back and see if I can find these again, because I would love to wear these like to the airport or something. Ooh, That'd be so yeah. nice. Yeah. And Better. like weekends off and like running errands. I just like them. I like the thin sole. I do too. It's so too. cool looking. I love these. Okay, so then I also ordered from Netta Porter, which is, yeah, it's kind of like heaven on earth. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite, favorite shops. Farfetch and Netta Porter are the two, well, my Teresa as well. Those are probably the three stores that I go to online if I'm wanting something particularly from Europe. And mm. not only that, but Netta Porter just does such, I feel like Netta Porter does the best job of like narrowing things down to the things that I really want. Far Farfetch is where I go when I'm looking for like a vast amount of options, but Farfetch is a little bit more curated. And so, um, wow, I mean the packaging and everything, and they're, both of these companies have the best returns. Yeah, they do. No duties, no taxes, all that's taken care of. It comes from uh, Europe, Farfetch can come from anywhere around the world, and you don't have to deal with any of that, and it's quick and easy returns. So I had already bought this before I got the H&M one, so probably not gonna need this, but I am gonna try it on Ooh, just yeah. to be sure because it's- Is that a dress? No, baby. <laughs> not that short. <laughs> it's, I love it. <laughs> Can you guys see that this is not a dress? <laughs> I, was hope, I was hoping. <laughs> It's like, well, if it was already. Three, maybe it would be a dress. How it's a you doing? Top. <laughs> Silly. Where are we going? <laughs> I ordered it because it's got that gauziness oh to it. Look at the I gauzy fabric. Love I wanted that. this for uh, the beach, all these beach trips coming up. Don't yeah, you love that? I love this. This is come from a brand called James Pierce out of Los Angeles. So that's what's so cool about this is that I found this from Europe, <laughs> but it's from LA. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's a really pretty, like, I gotta try this on still. Maybe we'll have time to try it on today. Yeah. And that way I'll have a little cutaway for you guys. So. All right, so we were just trying this on really fast and you know, Jack made the joke that this looked like a dress on me, but no kidding, I think it's too long. <laughs> it's almost, like it's all the way down to here and I think it's too long for me. So if you're really tall, definitely check this out. And I will leave the link for the one that I really like from Amazon that isn't so long. But otherwise I thought that this style is what I'm looking for and I really love it. So uh, let me get, let me let me know what you guys think. But I think it's, it's almost too much fabric. Like if I'm trying to tuck it in, I've literally got it pulled all the way down over my butt. Like it's just, it's too much fabric. It's not a dress. I didn't I, think it was a dress. Uh, this is my dream if dress. If this was a dress, then real adults couldn't actually wear it. <laughs> and it would be really see-through. <laughs> another reason to love it. This is going on the trip with us. No, I'm like, oh my God. Like, there's no tummy control in that. This all. is going on the trip with us. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't even turn around. <laughs> Go ahead, leave the room, baby. No. Let me see. No, you know, tell me, turn that thing off. I do not trust you. Okay, but... I turned it off. <laughs> I got that and then I got this. This is a dress. Okay, this is a proper do you see, dress. Do you see the length <laughs> difference here? I'm saying, so. all I'm saying is you got the legs for the other one. I do not have, <laughs> no, I need to actually cover my booty. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is actually the first piece of skims that I've ever 
actually ordered. Well, I, I wanted to be able to test this out and this is so cute. It's such a simple piece. That one looks great. Yeah, it's really nice. Like a really nice cotton. And that's the skims? Yeah, and this is the dress. Jack is sitting here <laughs> arguing with me that the last one was actually a dress. And I'm like, I will put a note up on the screen if it was a dress, but I really thought it was an actual tank top. But this is a dress. I mean, this is more conservative than the other one. Yeah, but he's like, <laughs> anybody can wear that. I'm like, you're, he's like, you're an adult. I'm like, I'm the size of the average 11 year old. <laughs> I'm not like an average size. So uh, yeah, anyways, there you go. Hope that gave you a nice fun laugh. <laughs> but, <laughs> this is so soft, I can't stop rubbing it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a little self-conscious because I needed like, I would normally just wear like uh, undergarments that would just tuck in that little skin that I have from having had three kids. Uh, maybe some of you know what that's like, but I think actually though, it's actually like a really nice, fit and I can see why people like this stuff. Yeah. This is a new style of sunglasses. These are from Celine. <laughs> I love Celine. <laughs> love them. So inside of here, the case, everything's so pretty. You're killing me with the avocado. It's sitting right I here. I know, I'm like, uh, It's sitting literally right here and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I want some more. <laughs> so look at how pretty they come all packaged. And I love, I always carry my case with me and I like the fact that their cases are a little bit thinner so they can fit into your bag really easily. That's a good idea. And then inside, you know, they've got the, they've got the tag on the center. I mean, how are we supposed to, there we go. No, that looks awesome. Yep, these are definitely keepers. It's like from Back to the Future or something. <laughs> We get the tags on his clothes. If I take the tag off. I'll just walk around like this. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. Hi, baby. What's up? What's up? You know, we're the cool kids here. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'll just tape it to my head. Oh, God. <laughs> just in case I want to return it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to know because now I can't, like, see them so well. I think they're actually really cool. I think You don't normally wear them that shape, so this is definitely a new no, shape for you. No, it's a new you. shape, and I love them. I, they're, they're just big enough to cover, like... A lot of times they're too thin and it annoys me because they don't cover my eye. Like it just annoys me. We have big, and they're not, yeah, I do have bigger eyes. You have eyes. bigger eyes and big eyelashes. And so. like a big brow bone. And so <laughs> I think they're actually really cool. You guys let me know what you think. I told you I liked them, so. And the kids also, they liked them. I think they're gonna be keepers and they're really comfortable. They're simple, they're modern, they're kind of cool. I like them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think those are gonna be keepers, but you guys let me know. I'm gonna keep the tag on until I hear from you. And then one last thing. You can tell I've been on a shopping spree, man. I know. I've been going crazy. But you know, it's it's a new season. So you wanna kinda of get your wardrobe <laughs> kind of refreshed and everything. So as you can tell, I've been really into big earrings lately. Love these. I think Saint Laurent is kind of spearheading this. I think so, yeah. They've had like the coolest earrings out lately and they're all really big. I feel like Bottega Veneta did it too. Yeah, but totally. But Saint Laurent's are so big and they're like $900 a pair. I'm like, ooh, that's but little... they're huge. Yeah, that's hard. I, I don't think I could wear something that big. So these are actually part of a little set from Amazon and they're really great find and they're not heavy at all. And then we were out shopping the other day and I got two pairs at cost. Look at how chunky they are. I always feel like I should say chunky. <laughs> I love them. Gorgeous. Then I got this pair that has that amazing hammered look to them and they're just so cool. So yeah, those are definite keepers. I'll, uh, like with everything, I'll just leave links for you down below, but we've had quite a few days with these uh, little new and items. It's, it's been, been fun, so much right? fun, yes. yes. Oh my yeah. gosh, so much fun. I know. Well, um, I also, <laughs> in the spirit of newness, <laughs> I also decided to style up the living room in a totally different way. Yeah, you did. It is gorgeous. I am in heaven. Like every time I walk out, I'm like giddy. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So we might just take you off the tripod and give you a little tour yeah. of the living room. And I also restyled the bookcases. 
also stunning. And then I need to show you the H&M finds that have already been styled up in the other rooms. <laughs> are, so I have a ton of house. stuff to share with you. I did <laughs> warn you at the beginning. I've got a million things to share with you. It's going to be such a fun day. So um, let me just set these things down. And uh, yeah, you want to grab the, let's take it off the tripod. And yeah. Take them on a little, yeah. little right around the house. Yeah, I may okay. eat the avocado first. But. No, I'm going to take one more bite. <laughs> 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 Got to get some of that cherry in there. Guys, you're going to want to stay tuned. Yeah, I got some chunks of chocolate and the cherry. Oh my gosh. Here, you, you try this one. That is like the perfect bite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Baby, that it's is so good. Magical. Yeah, it's so good. It really good, is. Isn't it? Oh like, my gosh. One of the best things I've ever eaten. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll get to share that with you in just a second. <laughs> yeah. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let me share with you the coffee table because I just looking at it, I, I can't wait to share it with you. I know. I love it. I mean, I'm freaking out. I love it so much. I'm like, play it cool, play it cool. You know, this. I have like this weird combination, I think sometimes where like my style is kind of modern and laid back. And then I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, I can't help it. I get so excited. So let me open the doors up and oh, we still need to fix this. So we'll say open that. <laughs> been but, saying that for two for a year. I know, we have. We never actually come back and do it. So, oh my goodness. I am so utterly thrilled with how this turned out. So when it came to what came back here, because you guys could see before, there was a lot of stuff in here. And one of the things that I've been saying when I gave it the lived-in look that it was before, was that I loved that I had all of my stuff out. Well, now I still have most, almost everything is still out. I just put a selection of some of the garden books in a separate little spot. Otherwise, everything else is still here. So I really didn't, or I incorporated into other places because I realized I didn't have enough books for the rest of the house. <laughs> and I put a few out on the coffee table, which I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. But. Um, yeah, so I ended up loving it. So they are stacked and I've done all neutrals in here and I've done black, white, beiges and taupes and uh, started out with something really big and tall but white and it's kind of dominant up there. That one's from West Elm. I will link up as many of these items as I possibly can for you guys. But then you've got like the marble bowl that's kind of, it's subdued. So you can see where we play the contrast here and then heavy against like textures and everything. So I love these spiky planters. I've always used them as vases, but technically they are planters and I've got to get another set of these. So when I order mine, I'll make sure to grab the link for you as well. But here you can see I've got my African bust is still in here and I've got this really cool like fluted kind of bowl with the little moss in there to add some green in. I've got Luxury Hotels, Mert Alas and Marcus Piggott. I've got a vintage book that I bought in the, actually bought that in the Louvre. If you ever go to the Louvre, go to the bookstore there because they sell all kinds of cool books. It's incredible and they're affordable. They, some of them are not affordable, but some of them actually were. And they've got all kinds of unique stuff there. And then, oh my gosh, I got the Saint Laurent. They actually sent me two copies of this. So you'll see in just a second where the other one is. Uh, so yeah, I guess if you order uh, just enough from them, they'll start sending you their like like magazines and stuff. It's really fun. This little piece is actually, I think I got this off Amazon. I was thinking H&M had something similar, but I think mine is actually from Amazon. And then um, these are were a really cool find on H&M and they are back in stock. So really exciting. And they just kind of brought in this kind of beige color that just kind of mixes things up so you can kind of tell like for my personal style i love things that are kind of like glossy and spiked i, I think i i think i actually dress the way that i decorate <laughs> wearing the spikes and then like a little bit of gold and then lots of neutrals i i mean i guess i'm kind of like all in with my style <laughs> <laughs> i love this piece the ammonite Oh, so cool. I think it's actually like a real one. Now that I've had it for a while and I've started to look for them online, I think it may actually be real. I don't know. It's maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a really good fake, but uh, I'll I leave links for you guys because those are a little bit harder to find. And then down at the bottom, you can kind of see I've got some more of the blacks and the whites. 
And uh, yeah, it's really, even my little sparrow, the one, I think they're sparrows, aren't they? The ones from Portugal? Bought yeah. this little one in Portugal, little ceramic guy. And uh, got my little spheres in here. So really actually got a lot in here. There's a lot in there. There's a lot in here. And it really, I was like, ooh, is it too busy? And I'm like, no, because you've got like a bit of boldness with the Tom Ford book. If you don't have this, oh my gosh, you need it. Just the page with Daniel Craig as 007. Oh, such a good page. <laughs> uh, but then over here, we've got everything from, <laughs> they're heavy. These are heavy. These are really heavy doors. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, so you can see how I've got a couple of the spikes. You can see how I've kind of brought the theme back in. Um, yeah, and so you can see where I've got another one of my little African artifacts in here. And Helmut Newton is amazing oh, if you gosh, love, yeah. but you have to appreciate nudity as art. Otherwise, don't buy that one. You will not be happy. Architecture of Chanel is an amazing book. I've got this really cool tray actually made of travertine. And I bought it for the bathroom, and then I've moved this thing around my house so many times. It's such an, a cool piece. And then little sculptures from H&M, a little paper mache bowl with moss in it. This is, I think they got that. Actually, that's an Amazon find. And then, um, yeah, the little knots. So you can kind of see how I've stacked by color again, and then just added in some of the accessories. Sometimes in the same color as the item and that creates a little bit of calm and like white space even if it, it doesn't have to be white it's just kind of like a it's a place it's a place for the eye to rest and then sometimes we've like co high contrasted like here we've got something that's white sitting on the black so uh yeah maybe jack can help me we'll double check that all of these are in the amazon shop because yeah. i have a category over on my amazon shop where you can shop my library and um yeah it's fun I've, I've had so much fun getting so many cool books over the years i love italian dream that's such a good one especially for summertime uh oh do you want new couture is good the mediterranean home and mediterranean living are really really good if you want something that's kind of summery and gonna get you excited about um just traveling and all that so yeah lots of really good books in here <laughs> i could spend all day just sitting here and we have the chairs sitting right here so in a way it does feel a little bit like a library because you've got the chairs right here uh, i will say though usually i sit right there in yeah, that corner do. closest to the fire and uh yeah just hang out so i'm i'm sh we're, don't show them the coffee table too much right. we're gonna let them see the, the pillows first right. so i've still got the lamps in here which just kind of add to the you know library kind of feel these are the ones from amazon that are so nice that have the little buttons at the top and then i brought in some some faux croc leather here so much fun you can tell we've all been sitting here uh, this is actually one of my favorite H&M finds that I've now owned for a couple years, and they brought it back again. And it's made with wool. I think it's 100% wool, actually. It's really nice. Wool. It's 50% wool, 50% polyester. And it is machine washable as well, if you want to do it like on a cold wash. So, I mean, we've had this for so long, and it's just absolutely gorgeous and looks brand new. So I like to have that kind of over the, the arm here. And then... If you watch the main home channel, you will have seen that I bought these gorgeous West Elm pillows and I had to keep this one. I just love this caramel color. It's just so warm. And that pillow is what had me restyling the entire space because I just freaked out over this color. And then I think if you're gonna introduce a new color, you need to have something in the room that references it. So I'll show you how I did that over here. All right, let me kind of show you myself for just a second so I can get you all really close and personal with this because it's so cool. Uh, these are actually um, handmade from a ceramicist here in the U.S. I'll see if I can find a link for those. And then you can see here's the other Saint Laurent book and, or magazine that they sent. And a lot of times, here's another Chanel book, and I take the covers off of them because I like the linen showing through. And so I've just kind of stacked here by color. You can kind of tell. So In Vogue is another really good one. And then uh, you can see I've got, um, let's see, which book is this? I've got some that are also vintage. Vintage. interpretive floral design the art journal is a really cool like magazine kind of 
book. So I've said before on the main home channel that I don't decorate with magazines anymore, but I feel like these are like books. So if they're like that, or if they have like that really heavy weight kind of paper to them, that I will decorate with. And then you can see here where we have the gorgeous tulips and just a really simple vase. I think that's actually one that came from the florist. So it doesn't have to be super duper fancy. Uh, and I think that I've actually burnt this one down. I need to go find another one. This is pumpkin woods. Actually, my daughter's boyfriend got me that for my birthday and it smells amazing. I'll show you the other one in the kitchen that he also got me and these are from Target. So um, sometimes you can just use them as sculpture. Can you see how cool that looks? It really just looks amazing. And as you can tell, I love sculptural things. So bringing in the sculpture with the spheres and then having that kind of movement. That's what I love about rounded items. So this is the thumbprint bowl from the Elsa Peretti. It's an Elsa Peretti design for Tiffany and company. And I actually saw that Michael Kors had that in his kitchen and I freaked immediately ran to my computer and bought it because I was like, what? Actually, I couldn't buy that one right away because there was a wait list. Okay. So if I find a link for it, you need to grab it right away because you literally cannot get these. They're really hard to get. Uh, but here's a really cool candle little item. H&M always has these really, really neat little things. And so that's from H&M. I love the Picasso, um, Picasso sculpture book. It's so, so good. And then I also have Arranging Things by Colin King. Any stylist, I always buy their books. I love them and you can even see he has similar taste in so many ways. His style is maybe a little bit more organic and natural than mine, but I still just, I feel like you can just always learn something from other people and a book, it just takes you places and you feel like you're getting to visit with this person and I just absolutely love it. We've got hearth here and tuberose here and it is making this room smell like you've got the smell of the fire and fresh flowers and it is intoxicating. It is ridiculous how good this smells. But then I've also got the tuberose going in the dining room. So I can tell da Jack was sitting at my desk. <laughs> He's got the, desk, the chair pulled out. Well, hi, baby. What are you doing in there? Are you hiding from the sun? Is the sun hot today? What are you doing, Angel? What are you doing? Hi, baby. Well, I've got the table set in here and man, it is so bright. So hopefully you guys can kind of see. We took a bunch of pictures the other day so I can always pop those in for you if I need to. I uh, did a little reel for Instagram. If you're not following us on, if you're not following us on Instagram, you should be because we update there every single day. Uh, sometimes in the stories we'll share new finds or little peeks of what's going on. And then you'll also get to see more DIYs and styling and everything else. And you can kind of see how pretty it is right now in here. It's so bright in here, it's gorgeous. One of the other things that Jack bought me for Valentine's Day was actually this tuberose candle. The other one in the other room was the sample that they gave us and this is the one that he bought me. And I am in love with this fragrance. I wish I had bought it years ago. It's absolutely incredible. It's like having fresh flowers in here, but then it's got a little bit of a woodsy kind of smell and it's just extraordinary. And then I also got this new lamp and I don't think I actually had showed that to you guys. So yeah, uh, I love this new lamp. It's from Regina Andrews. I'm obsessed with her lighting. And I think it looks really nice with this piece that I found at Home Goods. I mean, can you believe I found that at Home Goods? And then it plays in really nicely. You can see the little frames that I got from Amazon. And then over here, you can kind of see where I got the other Regina Andrews chandelier, which I absolutely love. Oh, the reason I actually brought you in here and then I totally forgot to show you was this was one of my H&M finds. <laughs> And I actually have a set of flatware from H&M as well. So I would definitely check them out uh, for their flatware. And I will also link up the Amazon set. They, I have to look, I don't even remember which one's which. They both look so similar and both lasted. And then these are from H&M and these are sold out now on West Elm, but I found something similar and then Amazon and then 
these bowls i'm just dying over i absolutely love them those are little ralph lauren ones and then we've got the fluted plate from amazon and the gorgeous glassware again can't help bringing this back from uh, the white company but i'll leave it all linked up for you so yeah i just really enjoyed this and it was so pretty for valentine's day that i told the kids just to put everything back again when they were done so and then i've also restyled this up too so yeah i gotta save something for next week though don't i <laughs> and then we'll come back through here and then let me share with you i got these really cool olive trees and they're sold out right now i'm so bummed out but yeah i got this from amazon and then over here hi hi what you doing Just cleaning up a little bit oh thank you um oh i was gonna show them this lamp but i've got to show it to you without the book underneath it because the book is warped <laughs> not the lamp it actually has a little spot where you have to make sure that the cord is out from underneath there and let's turn it on um yeah oops jack can you yeah, so there you go. That was one of my H&M finds, and it's under a hundred dollars, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I, well, you can tell. I told you before, I have a thing. If you're gonna add like piping onto something, I'm gonna have to have it. So I ended up loving it. Let me back up a little bit, and you can kind of see the space. Well, we're kind of backlit, aren't we? Let me just move this direction, and you can kind of see it here. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? I, I'm in love. I'm just completely in love. So, shall we uh, Shall we show them how to make that avocado? Yeah, let's do it. We did promise. All right, guys, let's go do it. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna have to make another avocado because Jack was cleaning it up in here. <laughs> Look, I am telling you right now, when you make this, you're gonna be cleaning it up too because it is so insanely good. And the best part about this is it's super easy to make. If you've never made an avocado, they are incredible. Basically, avocado means drowned because it's a scoop of ice cream that is drowned with espresso. The, the drink originates from Italy. They say potentially a monk might have had some involvement with it in medieval times, but they most experts think that it did start in the 1950s when ice cream really became popular. Either way, I'm happy to have one. You eat it with a spoon. So having a nice little coffee spoon is really nice. And it, it's as simple as it can be. Now, normally this is made with vanilla ice cream or gelato, but we didn't have any of that the other day. So in that enters the game changer. This, you will want to go and get this ice cream. This is the Cherry Garcia. I have the non-dairy version. Whichever version you want, you need the Cherry Garcia by Ben and Jerry. All right, so all we're gonna do is grab some ice cream. And I know the temptation is very real to heat your ice cream and make it a little bit more melty, but this is better if it's nice and hard and you just kind of round it and kind of work on it a little bit because we're gonna put the coffee over it and you don't want it to melt too fast because you want it to be, you have that little bit, guys, can you see the cherry and the chocolate chunks in that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, so good. Okay, and then we, whoop, drop it right in the center. <laughs> Maybe try not to do that. <laughs> all right, next we're gonna add a little bit of Kahlua. Now this is optional, <laughs> but I highly suggest it. And we're just going to add a shot of, of Kahlua, which is, oh, I'm making a mess, I'm making a mess, but it's gonna be worth it, guys. So just a shot of Kahlua. My gosh, girlfriend. <laughs> they have been making this since 1936. Imagine how dark the world was prior to 1936 before the invention of this, okay? This is magical. It's coffee liqueur, liqueur. <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. I think my mom always did. But this adds like that extra like punch and it's delicious. So I highly suggest adding that in spot just a little bit. Now we're gonna put our espresso into our little pitcher here. So we're just gonna need a shot of espresso. And what's so good about this is if you're like me and you keep your Nespresso pod sitting out on your counter in a fancy marble little bowl here, it's gonna take you two seconds to grab a pod. I'm using the vanilla one and I love this because it adds a little bit of extra flavor in there. And then we're just gonna make a little shot of espresso. Be 
just drown your ice cream in your espresso. Oh, yes. So magical. Okay, then we're just gonna garnish it. So I am using the Ready Whip that is the coconut. If you haven't tried this one, it's actually really good, but you can use a regular one as well. And we're just gonna garnish this baby. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, I told you it was quick, right? Very, very fast. And then if you're like me, you like to be a little dramatic and add a little drizzle of chocolate. And guys, no joke, that is it. I went ahead and made an extra one, you know, because I needed to For have me. the pictures <laughs> and I needed to be able to share with Jack. I'm sorry, we can hardly get your head in here. <laughs> By the way, can I just say that I love these vlogs? <laughs> yeah, but you do. There's always taste testing There's always involved. taste testing every week. I'm like, when are we vlogging this week? Yeah, Jack has gotten really excited about filming recently. I know, I'm like, I love this. <laughs> I don't know about you, but we're having a blast. Yeah. Well, we will make the rest. We'll put a recipe card up for you. If you're looking for the recipe, look down in the description box or just go to houseofvalentina.com because we post everything over on houseofvalentina.com. Uh, just in case you're not sure how to open the description box or something. It's always, everything's always over there, but um, I'll leave the link down below in the description. But honestly, you're, you're gonna love this. It's oh my gosh. so <laughs> easy to make. It takes, literally, it takes longer to explain it than it does to make it, don't That's you think? That's true, yeah. it's totally true. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. All my favorite things. I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> gonna need to compose myself man the Italians know what they're doing <laughs> but I think that Valentina does too because that cherry Garcia I was gonna say our little not having vanilla things sure worked out oh I'm telling you you need to do it I'm like ooh, what other kind of ice cream could we try this with <laughs> yeah. you're gonna absolutely love, I this. love this so we will leave this linked up for you down below in the description I'll leave the links for the other clothing items as well and my LTK if you're looking for the H&M ideas or if you're looking for the pictures, if you want to see the mood boards for the living room, if you like shopping that way, all that is yeah. always linked in the description box. And then you can always just go to houseofvalentina.com. And I almost forgot to share with you the candle that we had going in here. Oh. And I promised I would mention, this is the other one that my daughter's boyfriend bought me and I love it. It's the cedar wood and musk and it comes in that gorgeous container from Target. So I love that. There you go, guys. All kinds of fun things. Lots of fun stuff happening. I know. Hopefully next week there'll be a really big H&M haul and then it won't be very long and then we'll be heading to the beach. Yes. <laughs> With my hottie. <laughs> Tiger in the hottie. <laughs> Jack, no. <laughs> I was ignoring you, but then you went too far. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us. We sure do love having you guys over. It's such a blast. And thank you so much. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. And now to eat our dessert. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> I gotta get a big chunk of the, the cherry in that chocolate, oh, so man. Perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs>